What is up everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here with another post-workout reflection from the front seat. I had to think about what this was called for just a second. Anyway, I wanna to talk to you today about the value of showing up. And it's what is currently compelling me to create consistent content. And I've had a desire to create ongoing consistent vlog content going all the way back to 2007. And I remember in the early days of creating like video content, I would get a brand new camera, I'd get a bunch of new gear, and I would go and say, hey, I want to welcome you to my first, very first vlog episode for my YouTube channel. And then I might create one, two, maybe three vlog episodes, and then decide to give up. <laughs> and then I would come back a couple years later, I got some new gear, I knew a new camera, all the new microphone, lighting, and all this other jazz, and I'm like, hey everybody, welcome to my first vlog episode, and yeah. And then if there's been a couple times where I'm like, I'm gonna vlog every day in August, or vlog every day in April, although I don't think I ever did April. But anyway, I've always wanted to create content. It's what I'm called to do in this world. I know that that is my purpose, my mission in life, is to create content, products and services, uh, free and paid, that will entertain, educate, encourage, and inspire other people. Uh, hoping that what I'm doing uh, inspires people to take their life to the next level, to become more of who they're created to be. So, always compelled to create content. Yes, audio, been doing the podcast stuff forever, but also video has been a component of mine for a long time. And here's what I can remember. Back when, I think it was August of 2017, I think I attempted, again, that vlog every day in August sort of deal. And when I attempted that, there were days where I'm like, I don't feel like it today. And part of that is because I made it overcomplicated. I felt like I had to impress people and all those other things that I know long, that I, thankfully I've broken free from all of that. And... And, but one thing that I realized is that I was putting out, at times, subpar content. Content that I just didn't feel like was awesome enough to be published. And I actually had done this with podcast content as well. I, I had this compulsion that I'm going to put a podcast episode of my audio podcast every single week without fail. That's my goal. That's my desire. That's my commitment. And there were some times when, quite frankly, I published an episode that the only reason I recorded it is because I felt like I had to. I felt like, you know, I, 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 I've got this commitment that I've told the world, or maybe you haven't told the world, but maybe I've told myself that, that I, I need to do this. This is, what I, this is what I feel like I should do. And... And I remember having a conversation in one of my mastermind group meetings and a dear friend of mine brought up this idea of like, you know, don't, whatever you do, just don't create content just for the sake of creating content. And that phrase has stuck with me and in fact it gave me the freedom from time to time to just skip a Friday or skip a week of my audio podcast, I should say. And, 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 and I'm glad that I did frankly, in several of those areas. So, I, I am not a fan. In fact, I am opposed, personally, for myself, and, and I would strongly advise you to consider this for yourself, whether or not you want to adopt this philosophy, but I am absolutely opposed to creating content just for the sake of creating content. I am opposed to creating content because you feel like you have to. I'm I'm opposed to creating content just because you feel like it's expected of you. Um, I feel, you know, if you, if you don't want to actually have that expectation out there that is a realistic expectation, then don't tell people you're going to vlog every day. Don't tell everybody you're going to publish a podcast every week without fail. Just publish when you feel led to publish, and, and if it's daily for a while, let it be daily. And if it's not, it's not. And if people get bummed that you're not there, well, that's their expectation. It's not an expectation because you promised it to them. So be careful what you promise. That's, that's one tip for you. Be careful what you promise. Don't promise people that you're going to show up consistently if you're not willing to do that. And when you do promise, be careful that you may actually find yourself up against the wall. Life is busy. Life is crazy. Something happens and 
well, lo and behold, now you're just creating a piece of content that quite frankly, your heart's not in. And that's not cool. I, I don't think so. For me, I'm, I, I, by the way, I'm not preaching to you. I hope you, you understand that I, I'm kind of processing how I feel about the content that I'm publishing. So, yeah, I am not a fan of just creating content for the sake of creating content. I think that's a terrible idea. And it's not a great strategy for, for putting your message out into the world and, and showing up the, the way I believe that you should show up, which is where you're eager to publish the episode or the piece of content that you've created. So, okay, so that's out of the way. I, we get it. I, I don't like the idea of creating content for the sake of creating content. But there's this opposite philosophy that I have, and it's something that I'm actually... It, I, I guess I've just become aware of it consciously, but it's subconsciously it's been in my mind for years, and it's the value of being dependable and showing up for people. <laughs> the value of being someone... The value of me being someone that others can depend on. I'll go even more into and just say, there's something about me where I want to be somebody that you can depend on that I'm going to show up, that I will be there for you. Now, not that I feel like obligated to be there for you, but I desire to show up and be there for you. To be a consistent ongoing voice in your world of hope and encouragement because we all know that hope is the atmosphere where all things thrive and I there this world needs more hope and in a way I think this world needs me to show up and it's not just me it's it's the world needs you to show up because the world needs more hope so Okay, so I say that this has been in my mind. It, it's been something that's been in the background of my mind for years. And I, I'll give you a story, an example. And, and I, I'm going to be cautious not to, to like point fingers at any one person. And besides, I've been guilty of this myself. And what I will tell you is that in the audio podcast world, I have been, that's, that's like where my primary first and foremost place to go for content that that I tune into for ongoing uh, education, encouragement, inspiration. It, it's my favorite source of content, audio podcast content. And the thing is, is I'm not subscribed to a lot of podcasts. In fact, in the 13 years that I have been subscribing to podcasts, my podcast subscriptions have not changed a whole lot over the years and today I'm still only subscribed to about 12 or 13 maybe at tops at times I might actually bump all the way up to 15 different shows that I'm subscribed to but if I look at the top let's just say the top seven podcasts that I'm subscribed to most of those podcast slots are filled with people that have been in those slots since 2005 2006 and 2007 and the interesting thing is is there are there is one person in my life, one person in my life, and I've been listening to this person's content for all the way back since 2005, okay? And they, this person has lots of different shows, but there are several shows that I'm subscribed to, currently two, where I've never missed a single episode. And we're talking like, Oh, well over a thousand podcast episodes, well over a thousand podcast episodes. And I never miss an episode. And there were times in my life where I would actually be subscribed to three or four or five of this person's podcasts, and they were all in the top five of my shows that I would listen to first before anything else, right? And I sought this person's, I, I sought out this person's content because I felt, he, I, his message resonated with my heart. Okay, his content spoke to me in a very powerful way. Uh, his worldview is positive, encouraging, and filled with hope. And I found that when I started my day with a piece of content from this friend in the world, my day was brighter, happier, more fulfilling, 
And I was inspired and motivated consistently by this person. And, and that took up several hours of my week every single week. And I was thrilled to have that amount of content. And then occasionally, um, this person would go on vacation. And that person would go on vacation for like two or three weeks. And there would be no episodes for two or three weeks. And if it was just one podcast, one hour a week, I might not have been as I might not have experienced as much withdrawal as I did. But the reality is, is I got to depend on this person for about three to five hours worth of content every single week. And then for three weeks, I'm going cold turkey with none of this content. This person isn't there for me. Now, the thing is, is this person deserved to go on vacation. Uh, this person had every right to take some time off. I mean, for heaven's sake, as I, it's not like I was being charged for this content and, and it's there for me for free. And, but I, here's what I can tell you. When this friend of mine, that, and, and, he, and he, I can tell you, of course, we are friends. We are very close friends. But back in the earliest days, I was just a fan who listened and, and stuff like that. And, um, but I, I felt like he was a friend and I'm like, there, this, it's like this friend's not there anymore. It's like you have a relationship and you're, you're hanging out every single day together or several day, hours a week together. You're hanging out with this friend. And then all of a sudden, just out of the blue, you go three weeks, two or three. The reality is most of the time it's like a two week vacation or whatever. And, and maybe it wasn't even that long. It just felt that long, but this person just isn't showing up. They're not there for you. And you're like, okay, I, I tune in and I'm like, all of a sudden I'm finding myself digging to the bottom of the barrel of the things that I'm subscribed to, to find content. And it's just not the same. And, and what I realized, and I didn't know this, this, but I realized there was a time where, you know, a couple, like, let's just say four or five days into this vacation, or maybe a week and a half into this vacation of this friend, who is not there with content consistently for you, um, I'm finding that, like, I, I didn't even realize it, but something's missing. Something's off for me. Something is different. I'm actually experiencing life in a different way right now, and it's not as awesome as it usually is. What is it? And it took me a while to realize it's like, wait a second, I'm missing, I'm actually have, I'm experiencing withdrawal from this person's influence in my life. And I'm like, wow. And so that of course is what has always given me this desire to make sure to be consistent. You know, I want to make sure that I'm not, I'm not doing, leaving a void for other people. But the reality is, is that I, at the same time, I don't want to ever get to the place where I'm just creating content for the sake of creating content. I do believe in creating consistency, uh, being consistent, being dependable, being reliable. People can count on you for your, if you know, if you've been publishing a podcast episode every single Friday for once a week, every week for the last several years, then people should be able to depend on you for being there Friday morning when they get up to go to work because, well, that's the part of their routine. And, and part of me hates the idea that sometimes I actually do skip a Friday. And I know that there are people who like, it's like, dude, it's Friday, where's Cliff? And I didn't show up and I hate that. And, but at the same time, I equally hate just creating a podcast episode because I feel like I need to, or I have to. And part of me says, I wanna, I, I sort of feel led to skew towards the time, the, the side of show up. But I think it comes to the motivation. I think it comes to the motivation of why I'm hitting the record button right now. Am I hitting the record button because I just feel obligated to publish something just because I people expect it? Because I feel like I should? because that's creating content for the sake of creating content. And I think whenever I've done that, and I've done that several times, I've never really felt terribly good about it. However, at the same time, I've oftentimes received very positive, very encouraging feedback from saying, Cliff, wow, I really enjoyed that episode. And I'm like, really? And of course, they got the value because I showed up. 
But I can tell you this, lately I've been creating more content than I feel comfortable creating, specifically here for my vlog. And what I'm finding is that people are enjoying it. Part of me feels like, man, am I setting up expectations? Are people going to start expecting this every single day? And, and I, I'm cautious of, of that commitment and I don't know that I want to make that commitment. And part of me says, you know what, but there's value in just showing up. And, and I think that as long as I'm hitting the button to record content, whether it's this vlog, IGTV, or if it's uh, Facebook live streaming, or if it's an audio podcast, whatever the content I'm creating, if I'm hitting the record button and I'm saying, you know what, I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the people. That sounds like, yeah, that sounds weird, doesn't it? I, I'm doing it because I want to show up. I, I feel like I feel like there's value in showing up for people, being a consistent voice of hope and encouragement. That's that's giving me a new perspective on just hit record and publish. Yeah. But at the same time, I want to tell you this: if I ever come out of the gym and or if I'm ever out traveling and, and, and I feel like, well, you know, I, man, it's been a, I didn't, rec I need to record a vlog today. If I ever say I need to, I have to, I should, I'm, I'm not going to hit record. But, it, but as long as I can, as long as I can have the mindset and the motivation is, dude, I, I really want to show up for people today. Where can I fit in an opportunity for me to show up? And, and as long as I do that, I think I'll show up. I'm enjoying creating this content. And, I, and I'm not creating content for the sake of creating content. And I'm not creating content because I have things that, I'm, that, are, that need to be sold right now. I, I'm creating content because I genuinely wanna entertain, educate, encourage, and inspire others. And I wanna be a source of hope because hope is the atmosphere where all things thrive. And I want to help you thrive in life. And here's the interesting thing, is I realize that there are going to be times where, quite frankly, you're going to be overdosed on me. I get it. Matter of fact, this friend of mine that I told you about, there was a day when his podcast was, he had one podcast that was daily, every single day, like, well, it was five days a week, Monday through Friday, every single day. And I got to be honest with you, there were times when I got several days behind, like eight or nine episodes behind. I think there was one time that I might have actually been so far behind that I like just deleted five episodes. I was just on overdose. It's like, okay, that's enough of this person for right now. I can't keep up with all of this. But at the same time, I, I think back to that and I think of the times when recently this person like went off the radar for an extended period of time and or was showing up in a completely different way that I was used to that that I'd grown to love and thankfully this person's back to grow, showing up but it's not about me I'm just thankful he shows up and but anyway I think about it's like man even though I may have been overdosed and I skipped some epi episodes I I'm thankful that, that he showed up. I am. I'm thankful that he showed up. And so I, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this as I'm watching this thing, you know, I'm, I'm recording this on June 29th, 2018, sitting here in the front seat of my car and IGTV from Instagram is like a new thing. You might be watching this eight years later as a result of my newsletter. Uh, and I actually put this into my newsletter auto sequence, you know, like eight years ago. Um, what would that be, 2016? So is it 2016? If you're watching this in 2016 as a result of my newsletter, hit reply and say, hi, Cliff. Remember when you told us to go watch this 16 year, or eight years ago? Yeah, I love thinking about the future sometimes and just how the content you create today lives on for a very long period of time. And some of that's cool and some of that's not as flattering if you go back and look at some of my content from 2007, 2008, 2009. Yeah, that content lives on forever as well until you go and make it unlisted or delete it. Uh, but then I felt kind of guilty about not letting people see where I started from. And, and so I went back and made some of that stuff. Not all of it, but some of it stuff. Some of that stuff's been made available again. If you look in the uh, archives of the vlog over at youtube.com slash cliffyotc. Not that that's a shameless plug for you to go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or wait, you're probably watching this on my... If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. And if you're watching this on Facebook, go over to YouTube and hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. 
why do I care about that? I don't know. That don't don't do it. It doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. It would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. And if you're already subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you. And if it's 2018 and this doesn't even exist, if YouTube doesn't exist anymore, then why am I even talking? Who cares about any of this? You know what? I need. I think I've said everything I need to say. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, I encourage you to take everything you do to the next level. Bye.